What are you doing? <laughs> what day is it? Today is Saturday. What are we doing on Saturdays? Vlog. Yeah, that's right. What are we doing right now? Farmer's market. Farmer's market, farmers. Because your dad wanted to buy some peaches. Yes, dad wanted to buy peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. So, One farmer to another. They speak farmer talk. <laughs> they talk farmer. Yes, Bomb. I'm sorry, beard oil right there. Oh. I don't have any balm, but I do have the oil. Um, but yeah, so I don't have, I just sold my last bar of oat milk and honey. I don't have that one. Um, but it was an Indian thing or anything like that. So they had already um, really good. We made it. <laughs> That's my buddy Steve. We went to high school together. He doesn't like cameras. He's a good friend of mine. We got back from the farmer's market. Um, I then finished the uh, data and the upload and stuff for the Ask RNA episode that we shot yesterday. The, we did a live, not a live, we did a premiere of the Ask RNA. So I was at the house chatting during the premiere of that video um and then went to walmart with nicholas and i didn't film it and we got angela her mother's day presents she wanted some ferns so she got two ferns for mother's day and some cards from me and nicholas no card cam sorry then i started packing because i am off to see my mom because tomorrow tomorrow is sunday which is mother's day in the united states i guess it's mother's day everywhere i don't know but i'm off to see my mom she lives in decab Texas, which is about two hours away, two hours north of here. For your, you guys who live in other countries, I'm going to drive two hours north of me and, and still be in Texas. But she is pretty close to the Arkansas Oklahoma border, DeKalb, Texas. So it's probably only another 45 minutes or an hour to get into, uh, or less maybe, to get to Oklahoma and Arkansas. Anyways, I'm about to do a two hour drive. Go. So my mom doesn't know I'm coming, so I'm going to surprise her. My oldest sister's there, and I told my sister I was coming. So I'm going to spend the night at my mom's house and then go to church with her in the morning because that's a big deal for mom. That's her Mother's Day present. Her gift is me. Her gift is seeing her favorite son on Mother's Day. All right, so I'm going to drive to Decap. Let me get a little footage for you guys of driving through Texas. And uh, I'll show you around their property. And um, I get to Decab, Texas, which is like, ain't nothing there. But uh, that's where I'm headed.
pretty dang long drive. Uh, so, I'll talk to you for a little bit. Because I don't know how long today's vlog is going to be. If you've watched some of my uh, past few videos, we've been talking a lot about ZZ Top <laughs> and tribute bands. My friend Joseph is uh, going to play bass. I'm going to play guitar. I think we're going to split the vocal duties between the two of us. Today, I may have just recruited a drummer. His name is Tyler. Tyler Jackson. Mr. Jackson, if you're nasty. I actually gave Tyler drum lessons before I moved out to Tulsa. When Tyler was in junior high, I was given drum lessons uh, out of my house. And Tyler was one of my students way back then. And of course now he's an adult. And he's done some work for me at R&A Music. We had to remodel one of our bathrooms. We had some concrete problems around the toilet. And had to rip the floor up and do some concrete fixing and stuff. And uh, so Tyler came and fixed some stuff up at r and Music for me. But he's also a great drummer. And uh, Joseph and I both know him. And so it was like, what about Tyler? He's playing with another band. There's another band in the area he's playing with. But uh, I asked him, he's like, that sounds very intriguing and awesome. He's like, I'm down to do that. So so he's down to give it a shot. Uh, it, it shouldn't conflict with the other band he plays in. They only gig maybe twice a month, I think he said. What is this, May, May the 13th? So we're gonna, I think in June, we're gonna have our first get together, the three of us, and jam out maybe three or four songs. We're gonna work on three or four songs this month separately and get together in June and uh, do a couple of tunes. We're gonna work on the work on the ZZ Top tunes and then uh, try to put it together in June, see how it sounds and how it's going, and then figure out if we all three wanna do it. I think we do. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, Ike from Flipside Music in Denver, Colorado. Ike has a good friend in Colorado who has a ZZ Top tribute band called El Loco Fandango. <laughs> His name is Don. Don uh, plays the part of Reverend, Reverend Willie G. So Don is uh, Billy Gibbons in that band, and uh, I reached out to him, and we're friends on Facebook now, so I could ask him some questions. He's been very helpful, uh, so I look forward to kind of picking Don's brain about the tribute band thing, but while I was at the Dallas Guitar Show, I talked to a couple of people, and I met a couple of people who actually are in tribute bands. They're like, yeah, man, it is some good, there's good money in that thing, right? Cover bands are one thing. You get, you get paid to be in a cover band, way more than original bands, but it seems like the tribute band thing is even more lucrative than just regular cover bands. If you're willing to do the cosplay thing, <laughs> so which I'm like, bro, that'd be like super awesome. It's like cosplay and playing, ripping music, and you get paid, man, that sounds like a deal for me. And it's not super late night gigs. You're not playing 1 a.m., you know, midnight, 11 p.m. gigs. It's mostly earlier in the evening you know seven to nine o'clock or even during the day like festival type things like that sounds really attractive because i don't want to be coming home at two o'clock in the night from gigs like, i'm just like i'm past that point in my life i don't want to do that pretty exciting i have a lot of homework to do i feel like i feel like there's a little bit more involved learning all the guitar parts and all the freaking guitar solos that billy plays maybe then you know like a Dusty's bass parts or Frank's drum parts, you know. Uh, Tyler's more than capable of the drum parts, and uh, Joseph Jopi is more than capable of the bass parts <laughs> for CC Top. So I feel like crap. I gotta do the most homework. I feel like, which is uh, yay me. I'm also the oldest. <laughs> That's me. I'm the old. I'm the old guy in the band. I'm about seven years older than Joseph. And, probably god 10 years older 10 10 or 12 years older than uh or more than uh tyler so crap i'm the old guy oh man all right that's kind of the update for the zz top tribute band thing it looks like it's kind of slowly coming together we're gonna probably gonna have our first real rehearsal probably in june and i'm gonna keep shooting videos for you guys showing you the process i think it's cool i think it's a cool thing to kind of like chronicle the journey and uh so i can look back a year from now or two years from now or five years now and go oh man remember when we started that oh gosh so all right i'm gonna get back i still got like another hour or more of driving so yeah or another hour and a half driving all right see you guys in a little bit
Da bears. <laughs> da bears. I'm walking. I still gotta get 6,000 steps in. And me and my mom came and located the track around the football field. In D Cab, Texas. I guess they're the bears. The D Cab bears. Duh, bears. So I gotta get like 6,000 steps. Hey, duh, bears. So mom's waiting. <laughs> She's gonna let me go. I may have to run a little bit, actually. I might jog a little bit, because we're on track. Uh, it's about seven o'clock at night in Texas. And I gotta get my steps. Oh, I'm full though. We had, as soon as I got to mom's house, they were, she didn't know I was coming. And they had, uh, we're cooking steaks. So I had a steak and a baked potato. That's so I'm fat and sassy right now and trying to walk. So let me get to it. Okay, winding up lap eight. So about to finish two miles. I did jog a lot more this time than I normally do. I normally don't jog very much. I just brisk walk. I'm trying to get this over with <laughs> and actually push my cardio a little bit. If you're not pushing, you're not getting better. So definitely pushed it today. So jogging, while jogging, maximum heart rate in about 156, which for my age is pretty good. Maximum heart rate for my age is about like 173. So I hit into the 150s while running for a big old dude. About to finish two miles. Probably gonna take a cool down lap though. Cool down lap, yeah. Raining pretty hard here in DCAB. It was sunny earlier. Pretty heavy rainstorm right now. It's about 9 o'clock, 9.15 at night. Everybody's gone to bed except for me. So I'm going to... This is the inside of my mom's uh, cabin they built. Lightning outside. They built a little cabin in the woods. I'll show you some more of that tomorrow, probably. It's raining crazy. Lots of rain and thunder. I'm going to try to go to sleep here in a minute. See y'all tomorrow. Sunday morning. And this is Izzy, or Isabel. She was keeping me company. It's my mom and my sister. We made it to a little church in Decab that my mom goes to. She likes it a lot. A little Mother Day's, Mother's Day photo at church. It's Sunday. I'm at my mom's place in Decab, Texas. Way up northeast Texas. They got the little cabin they built. They uh, bought 13 acres of land, which is just trees. So go back that way about 13 acres. And that's just all trees. They first built a little metal building. Metal building, about 600 square feet. And <clears throat> finished it out uh, themselves. This is my 79-year-old stepdad, Ron, probably violating some OSHA standards here. And then not too long ago, they bought uh, another portable building, basically, and added it on. Not bad for a 80-year-old and 76-year-old. They brought this in there, and of course, they finished out the inside, framed it up, did all that stuff. So they got them a uh, 
kind of cabin in the woods set up. It rained like crazy last night. I obviously showed you that. And uh, I'm not gonna walk all the way down there because there's a lot of mud, but you can see there's a, uh, oh yeah, lots of mud, crap. Track door. <laughs> They got basically a game trail. <clears throat> a game trail is where you have maybe deer and other things run down the property. It's pretty wide. They've got a mule, not an actual mule, but a mechanical. So you can drive down there. All the way to the back of the property. God, sun, shiny shiny forehead <laughs> it's hot out here it's about 90 degrees in texas today 87 feels like 90. so they get about 13 acres that direction of woods so out in the boonies of east north super northeast texas so i came up yesterday let me go stand in the shade because it is freaking hot in the sun yeah drove up yesterday to see my mom as i told you for Mother's Day, we went to church this morning, to my mom's church where she goes. My sister, oldest sister is already here, so I met my oldest sister here and, uh, you know, hung out with mom last night and my stepdad and went to church with mom this morning. She really enjoyed that. And now we're cooking. We're uh, about to have steak and fish. And then I got to get on the road and get back to Canton. I'm hoping to get back to Canton before the next wave of storms come through East Texas, so... So we're gonna eat, then I'm gonna get, jump in the truck and drive two hours <laughs> back to regular East Texas. It's nice out here though. They're right off kind of a, a county road right there. So they're not real far off the main county road, but their property goes back pretty deep. It's just freaking trees. There's a little bitty tiny pond like halfway down there that their dog likes to go jump in and swim. So, the big dog. They got a little dog and a big dog. Lucy, the big dog, and Izzy, the little dog, who's spoiled a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go back in the house, get ready to eat. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl, what you doing? What you doing? To rub the belly, rub the belly. Rub the belly. Hey, Lucy. Rub the belly, rub the belly. Sorry, I just teased you with belly rubbing this. Now I'm gonna go in. Bye, Lucy. Well, I made it home. There was some pretty heavy thunderstorms between DeKalb and Canton, Texas on that two hour drive. Uh, as soon as I got home, Angela and I went to the high school and did uh, two miles around the track. But that's still not 10,000 steps for me because I've been in a truck. A lot today so got a little bit more got a little bit more walking to do to get my 10,000 steps I think this is day 940 although I think we're about to get some I think we're about to get some more storms here so I better I better get to stepping oh, I'm so excited <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog video i know it's been a while that was like from like literally exactly a month ago is when i shot that video so it's been a little hectic here we've kind of fallen behind on the 
videos, the last Ask RNA only got like two questions. So we're like, there's only two questions. Okay. Maybe more questions will show up before we set up the lights, camera, all the stuff. But um, if you haven't asked the question on the last episode of Ask RNA, go do that. So we'll have some questions to answer. And uh, there are more videos coming. We're, it's been just a crazy start to the summer for us, but uh, we are back at it. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. We need the music. We need to keep it alive for the next generation. I just sold some amps and stuff to some young players. So super excited. Bye.